Today I'm sharing the most flattering on-trend tops for an apple body shape for spring 2022. Hey everybody, it's Kathy and today I'm excited to bring another apple body shape video. I never know if it's apple body shape or apple shape body. I think it's interchangeable. The apple body shape is also known as a circular or round body shape. An apple body shape person carries their weight mainly in the belly area but also has larger breasts and some padding on their back. You probably have nice arms and legs if you're an apple body shape. And the first area to show any weight gain is the stomach. I know for me, I always get that pregnant look when I'm carrying some extra pounds and I don't like it. So I am on a mission this year to lose 50 pounds. I'm not sure if you know that, but I also have videos about that. In an apple shaped body, the waist is undefined and what we're trying to do is create a waist. Your first thought might be to like wear bulky clothes, like lots of big sweaters that have no defined shape, but don't do that. That's actually gonna do the opposite and it's going to make you look a lot bigger than what you already are. So I'm gonna share with you today six different tops that you could look for if you are an apple shaped body for the spring. Certain tops flatter an apple body shape that make us to appear thinner and they distract away from our big belly. My recommendations are applicable to apple shaped bodies whether you are petite like me I'm five foot four or whether you're six feet tall. If you have an apple body shape all of these tips and tricks will work for you and I can relate to everything that I'm going to talk about in today's video because this is something that I deal with on a day-to-day -day basis and personally I don't like taking fashion advice about an apple shaped body from somebody that's a size two or size four. It's not that I don't appreciate the effort, it's just they can't relate because their body is totally different. They're probably more of a banana. So how, how would they know like what an apple body feels like, right? So I'm gonna be your go-to gal when it comes to all things apple body shaped. So just a little bit about my apple body shape in case you know you're thinking oh, I'm kind of like the same size as Kathy. I'm five foot four so I am petite. I have broad shoulders and a longer torso but I have a short inseam. I can wear both regular and petite size tops. It depends on the brand and the style so you really have to go by each individual brand's style chart because one brand I can wear an extra large the next brand like it's an XXL. So you really have to go by the chart because sometimes I find, especially for petites, like the sizing can be all over the place. Sometimes a petite is just too tight and I find that mainly in the tops because my shoulders are broad and uh, I also have like a lot of, I carry fat on the shoulders and it makes my shoulders more rounded. So that's like a typical apple shaped body. So some examples of famous apple shaped body people are Oprah, Catherine Zeta-Jones, Drew Barrymore, and Adele. So ladies, we're in great company. Adele is an apple, I love Adele. Okay, so before I'm gonna get into the six different tops that I recommend for an apple-shaped body, ladies, please go for a bra fitting, get the right fitting bra, and wear it because it is automatically gonna make you look thinner and it's going to create the illusion that you have a waistline. So that is like a bonus tip that goes for everybody. So the first type of top that I suggest for spring for an apple body shape is a wrap top. Just like a wrap dress, a wrap top works wonders. It looks great on every body. It creates the illusion of a waist, especially if the wrap falls underneath the bust area. It's going to look like you have an hourglass figure and it's gonna take away from the big pregnant belly look in the front. So a wrap top creates a defined waist. You wanna look for tops that have a fake tie or an elasticized waist. And also if you could get it in a V-neck, V-neck is very flattering. The second type of top that I recommend for an apple body shape is one that has a flattering print. Now I'm not talking about those ugly, ugly prints that some designers like to make plus size clothing with. It seems sometimes when you get past a size 14, they think, oh, well, you know, she's not worth making a nice print for her. We'll just give her the ugliest print out there and you know what, she can wear it and she can look like she's a big old curtain. I don't know why designers are missing the boat because the majority of women are bigger than a size 14. So like, don't give us big, ugly orange flowers on our tops. You need to give us the same nice prints that a size two or a size four can wear. 
like designers, you need to listen to us. So by a nice print, I mean like a print like this top. It has tiny, I think they're flowers, little specks. There's purple and mauve, you know, like a nice animal print is always great because it creates an optical illusion and it takes away from the belly area because the print is like, you don't want a busy print, but you want a nice print and it's just like, wow, she looks good. Like not like, wow, is she wearing like her living room drapes? Get it with a V-neck. It's double flattering. Is that a word, double flattering? <laughs> Stay away from a crew neck. And by crew neck, I mean like one that like cuts you here because then you're just gonna look like one big belly. And also if you have a round face like me, your face is gonna look like a bowling ball. I know from experience because I have pictures of me where I have worn a high crew neck and I just look like, you know, there's a bowling ball sticking up here off my shoulders. So a crew neck, is different than a scoop neck. A crew neck is high up, where a scoop neck is sort of like a V-neck, but it's like more round here. The third top that I have for you is a V-neck, my favorite, or a scoop neck, as we just touched on. So a V-neck or a scoop neck shows off the collarbone, which actually breaks up this area. So it uh, makes like the neck and the head look a lot longer. So you're giving the illusion that your face is thinner. It elongates the neck, brings attention to the bust, and that's why you want the good bra to hoist the girls up. And it also, a V-neck or a scoop neck, more so a V-neck in my case, it will make your face look thinner because it, it almost like makes your chin, you know, kind of like the V-neck. So it's very slimming in this area. Crew neck does the same thing, but um, I wear a V-neck probably 90% of the time. And it also helps to hide the double chin so you don't have like that turkey neck going on. And it, it also takes away, it doesn't make it look like you have a thicker neck. Because if I was to put on like a crew neck, it just, all you would see is like a tree trunk for a neck and you would just see like double chin, thick neck and bowling ball for my head. So, you know, that, that's pretty, um, uh, an easy visual you can think in your mind and you'll say, oh yeah, I know what she means now. So the next type of top that I recommend is one with ruching. I love a good top with ruching. It is so slimming. And the ruching is actually just a gathering of fabric and it just makes like a ripple effect and it's usually on the side or in this area underneath the bust. And it's very flattering and if you can get it with a v-neck, uh, wow, you are going to look 10 pounds slimmer right away. The next top that I have is an asymmetrical top. I don't think that I have an asymmetrical top, but I have seen a few that are kind of interesting looking. Uh, asymmetrical just means that the hem is not uniform. So it's almost like a shark bite top, like one side of the, uh, the hem of the shirt has like a pointier finish to it than the other end. So that is very effective because it makes you look taller, especially if you have a point on one side, because it like draws attention to your legs. So it's gonna make you look a lot taller than what you are. It's very flattering. It creates vertical lines and it makes you look long and lean. Who doesn't want to be longer when you're five foot four or shorter? Hello, I wish I was like 5'10". Oh, everybody's taller than me. And the next top that I have for you is a peplum top. But you have to be very careful with a peplum top. I think I have one in my wardrobe. You want one that doesn't add like too much fabric because basically what a peplum top is, they just uh, sew an extra piece of fabric like underneath the belly, you know, gives the illusion that that is your waist. But you don't want anything that is too tight or too big for you. It has to be just right. Just like, was it Goldilocks? And the three bears, it just has to be right. It has a built-in waist, so it's automatically gonna give you that hourglass shape, so you're gonna look slimmer. Two things that you want to avoid when you're looking for tops. Don't buy one that is tight-fitting. That is not flattering, and especially if you're like me and you have like some rolls in your apple area, it's not flattering. You don't want anything too big either because then it's just, you know, not gonna look nice. You're gonna look like a, I don't know, like a, a box. You're not gonna have any shape. Don't get anything with too many ruffles or frills because that can also make you look bigger than what you are. So just because you're an apple shaped body doesn't mean you have to hide your body. Don't be ashamed of it. Like embrace your body. You just, if you use these tips 
and you know you you find tops that um, are more flattering to your body shape you're going to rock it and you're gonna look so good if you're petite like me like five four and under it's doubly challenging when you're in apple shape because we don't have a lot of height in our body so we kind of look a little rounder and especially if you're like me my torso is actually longer than my legs i have really short legs so i can sort of look like just a little uh you know <laughs> round ball walking around if i'm not careful so that's why uh, i found clothes that fit and i think i do a pretty good job disguising my apple belly from the front if you were looking at me sideways, you would see the belly, but I think if we're looking like head on, you probably wouldn't notice that my apple belly is as big as it is. Too often women that aren't a size four or size six, we're often like shamed or made to feel ashamed of our body, whether it's because we don't get the nicest prints on clothes or just advertising in general. That has to stop because every body is beautiful. It doesn't matter if you're size zero, if you're a size 40, you are beautiful, embrace your body. Don't wait for tomorrow, do it now. Embrace your body and know that you are beautiful and you deserve to look beautiful. Even if you just implement, get one new top with a V-neck, you're gonna start to feel better about yourself. Please do not hide in your clothes. Dress for your body type. You are worth it. The body is an amazing, amazing machine. Embrace your body and love your body because it is truly a miracle. And if you want more information and more Apple body style tips, I will link my playlist in the description box below. I'm also on a 50 pound weight loss journey that I'm being very open and very honest about and I'm struggling. So I will link that playlist below and you know, if you wanna lose a few pounds, we can uh, cheer each other on. I'm sharing my journey with you because I know that I'm not the only woman that feels this way. And I want you to know that you are not alone. And I just have to say, like, I have been blown away by the comments that I have received from other women that have the same struggles as me. And you're telling me that you can relate to me and you're happy that you finally found somebody that, um, you know, looks like you or has the same struggles as you because, you know, it's not easy to put yourself out there on the internet like this. And I want you to know that you're not alone. And it really means a lot to me when you send me those messages and notes saying how much you appreciated my honesty and appreciated the tips. So I'm really here. I just want to support you and I will um, continue to make videos for us petite apple body shaped women. I will link a few uh, tops for every uh, top category that I mentioned. Um, I haven't had time to do any shopping to get any tops because it's the weather has been horrible here. We're, we're at the end of April and we had snow two days ago. Like we've never had weather like this. It's just been really bad. So ladies, I hope that you have a wonderful day. If you found my video helpful, please give it a thumbs up really does help my channel to grow and please please just know that you are perfect the way you are embrace your body and uh, i will see you very soon in my next video bye